it has to be memorable. If the shot's not memorable, then it's not powerful. Shots that are memorable stay with you, and that makes them more powerful. So that's one of the key ingredients. More than anything, they always remind me of how close we still are to them in a way. Putting clothes and masks and putting the gun in the monkey's hand make me go, oh yeah, they're not that far off from us still. Hi, my name is Albert Watson and we're outside the Tashin Gallery at the opening of my show Chaos. And it celebrates about 50 years worth of work. It's a, an important event for me because my original studio is just a few blocks north of here, at Crescent Heights and Santa Monica. So uh, to come back here and have a big show here, it's very, very nice. So it has a lot of nostalgia for me and uh, it's nice to be in LA. I love the photograph of Sade, the very sort of deep set, instinctual, dark beauty that I absolutely aspire to. I love everything that was taken from Polaroid, transfers. You know, there's a Muhammad Ali that's beautiful, and there's one called the Running Man back there. The uh, men running, there are two Polaroids. So it has this look of something that is like a different reality, yet it's very tangible. That just showed all of the playfulness in relation to all of his more serious, more elevated work. That kind of juxtaposition really showed that he's a very complex photographer and creating perspective. I have two favorite photos. One is of Elvis's gold suit and the other one is the one of Prince in his polka dot shirt. When I first started, I was very interested in all aspects of photography and I've actually held on to quite a bit of that. If I have still life for two weeks, then I'm looking for a human being. So I'm very happy to be moving around, not only all over the place, studio and outside, but all over the world as well. Once you give that day for the shooting, you never get it back. So why not make it as perfect as you possibly can? 